Hello everybody and welcome to BattleBots Reborn Dream Matches, Lockjaw vs. Witch Doctor. First, apologies for any echoing in my audio and any background noise. I am currently in my machine for my recovery from the ACL surgery, blah blah blah. Let's just get into the video instead. So here is a Lockjaw version that looks incredibly beautiful, it was sent in by Thyrus, and it very nicely resembles the Season 1 version of Lockjaw that beat Overhaul and then lost to Overhaul. And yes, if you want to see that rematch, I'll take care of it, don't worry. But anyway, I like his lockjaw because it looks a lot better than mine and it functions pretty well. You can see all these parts moving individually. The main problem is that. There's so many controls for this bot and it's very hard to drive as opposed to mine. But I wanted to test it out to see what you guys thought and to see which one should be in the cup. And look, here's a brand new Witch Doctor with some beautiful custom skins. Witch Doctor now has a better wedge in the front, it's got a couple extra ram plates there, a working Shremac as well, and there is some protection for that weapon motor, the teeth on the weapon were also changed. Um, I really like this bot, it's, it's very nice, I think it looks very pretty, um, I don't really know what else to say about it, but yeah, here's a new Witch Doctor. So now that you've seen the new bots, we can bring in their new pictures for the tale of the tape. So Lockjaw versus Witch Doctor, a couple different weapons here. Lockjaw, his biggest problem is that he's going to be very tough to control, but having six wheels, he's probably going to lose one or two, and he should be able to drive fine with losing a couple. Witch Doctor, very good weaponry and very much improved defenses, so one thing I'm wondering for a weakness, there's a lot of weight in the front there, four ram plates and two motors. Is it going to be enough to cause some problems? We'll see. Alright, time to get into the fight. Bot battle begin! Two upgraded builds here. Ready to showcase their abilities. Witch Doctor, the semi finalist in BattleBots Reborn Cup Season 2. And a slight bump, and he's tipped onto his front. Well, we wondered if that would be an issue. Lockjaw moving in, trying to cause some damage, but he's knocked Witch Doctor back onto his wheels. He could have left him. But fair play to him. He didn't want to win that way. This doctor looking very slow and sluggish. New weakness perhaps in this upgraded machine. He's popped up again a little bit there. Lockjaw though, having a tough time getting the weaponry going. It's very complicated. There's three total moving parts there. The two jaws in the front have two independent controls for up and down motion each. The tail in the back also has it, so there's six just for the weaponry. Ten total with controls for driving. Witch Doctor getting shoved back again as Lockjaw showing his pushing power. He's trying to move in and get some, get some damage done. Witch Doctor very defensive. Oh, wait a minute! There's a wheel off! When did Lock Lockjaw, I think, ran into the kill sauce and lost a wheel? Well, I nearly missed that. I gotta pay attention a little bit more instead of trying to fill in some of these gaps in the audio in the fight commentary. Witch Doctor on the attack again now, boosted by having a little bit of damage. But now there's smoke, and is that the weapon motor of Witch Doctor? I think it is. And if you look in the yellow stripe on the outside of the arena, there is some black round extender on the ground. That is from Witch Doctor's motor protection system. It's a new thing we're trying to add into some of these bots that have an exposed weapon motor. And Lockjaw's lost another wheel! He's down to four! And now Witch Doctor looking confident, able to cause some damage. Lockjaw, he's done a little bit of damage himself though, but it's not enough. Is it? He's on the back foot now. Witch Doctor trying to stay aggressive. Every time he goes in though for a challenge, you see what happens. He's popping up just like that. But it, I think he might have done enough to win this fight. We're gonna have to see. It looks like it's going to the judges. And perhaps Lockjaw. When he had Witch Doctor pinned in the first 15 seconds, he probably should have left him. But either way, this fight is over, and we're going to get a decision. 
Hmm, not a lot happened in that match. This is kind of a tough decision to make, but what we got to look at, control, damage, aggression, style. Oh wait, that's Robot Wars, my bad. You know, damage, strategy, aggression, that's right, BattleBots. Okay, well, the decision is in, and the decision has gone to Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor getting two wheels, while the damage at Lockjaw did, it didn't really do a lot to stop Witch Doctor, now did it? The wheels did seem to hinder Lockjaw when he lost him. Well, let's go to the second fight. Let the bot battle begin, round two between these machines. Lockjaw stepping to the side. What dumb decision will he make in this fight? Of course, had a chance to win in the opening seconds of the first match, but decided against it. Which doctor must have taken the cup loss poorly because he's put on quite a lot of weight this offseason, and he gets flipped up onto that front side again. Lockjaw pushing him against the wall. Come on, Lockjaw, leave him alone. Don't do something dumb. You don't want to wear the dunce cap, do you, Lockjaw? We'll put it on you if we need to. Witch Doctor able to spin away off the wall with the wheels touching. Lockjaw, leave him alone. Bad kitty. Leave him alone. What well, does it matter now? Witch Doctor's back onto his wheels. Either with the help of Lockjaw, the wall, or his own means. He's popped up again. Shoved towards the corner. And again, he tries to charge Witch Doctor, but he's popped up. Almost looks like Witch Doctor is doing burpees. Hell, that'd be a good way to burn some of the fat he put on. Maybe he is doing that on purpose. He's popped up yet again. But the frequency of it, you have to question it. Oh, the wheel goes rolling off a of lockjaw. That's not good for him. By the time this series is done, he might need to borrow my crutches. I still need them, so you might have to actually find your own lockjaw. Which doctor on the charge again. Lockjaw spinning in circles. Like, is it the seventh inning stretch? A kid's game. The one with the bats? Which Doctor flipped up and over? I think the floor spikes did that one. That's when you know shit's gotten too boring when the arena steps in to try and change it. I think Lockjaw lost part of the jaw on the front there. Looks like he lost the top piece. Which Doctor's underneath him, shoving him into the corner. Trying to cause more damage. Oh, now it looks like he's lit one up before he lights up Lockjaw more. I've heard his favorite type is Camel number 9 Menthol. He's thrown Lockjaw over to another corner of the arena now. Lockjaw really struggling, trying to figure out what to do. Just back and forth, bumping around. Looks like he's downloaded a virus, and he's about to crash. Witch Doctor eating him alive, just like the virus eats the insides. Is he even going to survive another 30 seconds to lose a judge's decision? He's lost another wheel. Smoking! He's not gonna last! Witch Doctor puts him out of his misery! I always hate when a fight on paper just doesn't go as well in the box. Witch Doctor taking it two to nothing. Um, I don't know how much entertainment there was in there. Now, normally, since this is a two nothing victory for a bot, we would go to the Wheel of Mayhem, but I'm going to make an executive decision here and throw in my Lockjaw. Would he do any better against this Witch Doctor? I'm very curious to see how that would go. So, let's find out. The bot battle begins. So will the new Lockjaw, will the old Lockjaw, will he do better? Did he learn anything from watching his potential replacement make a fool of himself? Apparently not, because he's already getting himself into trouble. The bot's trying to use their weaponry effectively. A lot of manscaping so far as both bots shave bits off each other rather than anything else. Lockjaw's jaw chattering out of control. Did someone turn the heat off? I'm warm here, but it's cold down there. Lockjaw again trying to tip Witch Doctor now. Witch Doctor took too aggressive of a drive there, he's flipped himself. Or is he just trying to do one of those street dancing head spins? I don't know. Either way, Lockjaw moving in to try and cause damage. He really should back away because he could have the fight won here. But he's knocked Witch Doctor back into his wheels. I guess stupidity just runs in the mutant robot's family. First and late hit against Overhaul, now this? Come on, Lockjaw. Is it? Witch Doctor on the charge now. Got a good shot on one of the wheels there. Lockjaw backing up yet again. Trying to play more defense. Oh, look at that! Lockjaw pokes Witch Doctor's weapon, Three Stooges style, and it comes right off! 
And now Witch Doctor's in major trouble without a weapon. He's got defense still. The lockjaw jaw bouncing as if to not an approval of that shot. Now what else can Witch Doctor do besides get tipped? He's got the ramp plates and he's going to try and use the score points. But will it be able to knock off some of those teeth? I don't know. Just over a minute left in this fight. Is that a loose ramp plate? It is. Lockjaw's loosened it and it's come off. Can he get the others now? Three to go. You know what? Yeah, do it, Lockjaw. Those ramp plates cause more controversy than Trump's tweets. Oh, and he got another one there. Two down, two to go. A big drive. And Witch Doctor's pinned. It looks like he's going to leave him now. Witch Doctor trying to use the Shreemek to get back on his wheels, and it broke off. That sums up this fight for him. Whoa, and the big first round moment, and Witch Doctor is in the same position he was. Well, you tried overuse Skyrim joke, but apparently this fight is meant to end this way with Witch Doctor pinned and Lockjaw, the Boring Goat Lockjaw, victorious with just about 20 seconds to spare. It's over. Well, kids, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that this Witch Doctor needs some work. He's very front-heavy and very slow, so I'll go and take a look at him. Just quick, quick mention, real quick. Um, can somebody help me with a Ramplate Substitute custom piece that doesn't cause any damage, has the same life, and even weighs a little bit less, maybe? Because I can't figure it out. I've been trying for so long, and I am struggling to get it to work. And also, what do you guys think of the Lock Jaws? Which one should compete in BattleBots Reborn Cup? Mine or the one by Thyrus? Let me know. Well, that's the end of the video. Congratulations to Witch Doctor, who takes the two to nothing victory. Now, what do you guys think? If they fought in real life, would that be the result? Have your say below. And if you want to see more from each recreated design, check out BattleBots Reborn on the channel. Lockjaw appeared in episode 46, Witch Doctor appeared in episode 21, Witch Doctor's appeared in just about everything else on this channel, and you can catch them in BattleBots Reborn Cup Season 3, Summer 2018. Thanks for watching, have a good one. Let the bot battle begin! Both bots a little tentative because they know what each other is capable of. Vita trying to rush Bronco but failing. There's the turning problem that you'll see.